Although I think somebody told me in chat that it has a 765 chipset. So um, that's about all I know. And it swivels. It does this swivelly thing. Like it does this thing right here. This is my pixel wing, guys. I've said this before. I have the very first pre-production pixel wing. Following leak upon leak, LG finally made one of its weirdest smartphones yet official during a live event. Is it really weird? The weirdest? One of its weirdest? The LG Wing is a dual screen handset with a swiveling mechanism. You can rotate its display by 90 degrees, revealing another smaller one underneath it. LG hopes that this unique form factor will help with multitasking, like when you're navigating in your car, while listening to music, or watching a video while chatting with friends. So I think those are actually good features. I don't know why, I don't know if I would necessarily call that weird to be honest with you i would rather have this form factor like that i would rather have this than this i would rather have this t than two displays sandwiched next to each other that's me though to make it even more unique lg has also added a pop-up selfie cam that's awesome the one thing that i want on my phone rather than a hole punch or a punch hole or a notch or a water drop or a capsule or whatever you want to call it is a pop-up selfie cam. So this is not a full screen then, huh? It's just this. This is what comes. How big is this screen? Okay, this makes a lot more sense because you can't use two screens anyway. So this is just a smaller screen underneath it. I don't know. I don't think that's the worst idea in the world. Oh, that music. That music is pretty dope. It's like funky and like upbeat. So, oh, you could even flip it the other way. That's cool. I like that. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Wait, that even makes it more useful. I think this is actually not a bad idea at all. I don't, I like it. How much is this phone? It's probably way too much. No, I think that's pretty, I think this is pretty sick. I really, I, now that I'm seeing it like this, I, I think it's pretty cool. I don't think that looks bad at all. And that's the thing, this, this screen that comes up sideways, it's not like a huge full phone that you're holding. It's a very thin version of the display. Like the thing I think about right now is imagine, imagine you were watching this stream. So you could watch, you could have that flip up sideways and then watch the actual live stream chat on the bottom screen, right? I feel like that would be a great use for it. That would be a great use for Twitch. That would be a great use for even just watching a regular YouTube video so you could uh, scroll through the comments. The one thing that I love doing is watching YouTube videos and scrolling through comments. But then it also sucks because you watch a very small screen on your display because you have to have the screen in portrait mode. So I feel like that's a great solution for doing that as well. I could see it being useful. I could literally see this being useful. I think it's a great idea. At least right now, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> LG promises up to 200,000 swivels, which average out to about 100 motions every day for five years. 6.8 inch, 20.5 by nine aspect ratio, FHD plus. And then the second screen, okay, the second screen, that bottom screen is 3.9 inches. Uh, running Android 10, a 765G chipset, eight gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of internal storage. So at least they're not skimping on that. Sorry, I meant to make that screen bigger. Uh, it also does take expandable storage, a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. I'm wondering how long that battery is actually gonna last with, I guess, two displays that way. I mean, it is a smaller display, so maybe it won't be that bad. Yeah, they're calling it a gimbal motion camera. I really don't know how well that's gonna work though. A front pop-up camera, which I love. I'm glad that they put a pop-up camera in there. And then whatever this Hexa motion stabilizer is, an in-display fingerprint sensor. So of course, it says here, the wing will first take flight on Verizon and will come to other carriers later. Specific pricing, availability, some specs and colors will differ by network. In Europe, the dual screen phone will cost 1,100 euro. What's 1,100 euro in US? Because that already sounds like way too much money. But the fact that it's coming to Verizon makes me already know that you probably can't get the phone unlocked which is unfortunate. 